Hey yo, what's going on YouTube? I can swim here with another great tech tutorial explained. So today we're going to be working with a program called Video Dub, and this is actually quite a program. It it has the ability to to um like it's got so many functions I can't even name them. But anyways, this this program is a very good tool if you have a video where the audio and video are out of sync. Now that can be very annoying, and I know. So I've been searching online, and this was the most recommended way to fix that. So I'm gonna just explain how to use it. So what what you're gonna do is open up the program. Now note that when you when you're gonna open a file in here, you need to convert it to AVI format. Um, and if it doesn't open, like it gives you an error message then you want to download a program called DIV DIVX. I will link all of this in, in the description, so don't worry. But what that program does is it allows um, VideoDub to recognize the file and the audio formats. So anyways, that's just tech stuff. Um, it'll just, it'll allow you to open it. Anyways, so getting started. So right now, I'm working with um, Yu-Gi-Oh, like the old one, the one from like 2000. And no judging me, I like my old school shows. <laughs> Anyways, so what you're going to do is you're going to open video, sorry, virtual dub, that's what it's called, um, and you're going to either go to file up here, I'm just scrolling so you guys can see that, focus, anyways, file right there and you're gonna click on it and then this first option right here open video file you're gonna click on that and once you do that you're gonna choose your file wherever it is um, and if you don't want to use this if you don't want to go up to file there's a shortcut you can just hold the control button on your keyboard and then press O for open and it will do the exact same thing so once you have this open, go ahead and select your file. Um, and there's ways to speed up this whole process when you're converting. If you have a lot of files to convert, like this is the whole series I'm converting. So if you want to speed that up, you can instead, you can use the keyboard shortcuts. And when you're going to open your file, just type in the first few letters of it and it will actually show on in the drop down bar um, where that file is and what it's called and then you just click on it and press enter to open and then once you do that it's gonna open it and then now you're gonna go up to video here let me zoom in again so you're gonna go up to video just like that and you're gonna go down to this direct stream copy make sure that's checked once that's checked you're gonna go up to frame rate, also under video, click on that, and here you can see these three options. Now originally it'll say no change, so it won't change any of the audio. But you wanna click on this third one here, um, change so video and audio duration match. And once you click this, it's gonna, it's gonna sync the audio and video for you. And that's essentially the magic. So once, once you click that, press okay, and once that's done, you, you can um, just press F7 for this program and it's going to save that for you. And just choose your destination and click save. Um, now, when you're doing multiple files, um, so I'm going to do control O to open and then see where it's highlighted here. I'm just going to type in the first few um, letters so 064 for episode 64 and then it pulls it up just press enter to open and when you're doing more than one file it's going to remember the options you've checked so video direct stream copies already highlighted frame rate and change so video and audio duration match that's already checked so when it's multiple files you don't have to worry about clicking everything over and over again it's going to do that for you because it remembers all the options so once that's done, you just you just continue and then F7 to save again, pick your file, press enter to save, and you're good to go. So 
I just wanted to do a quick video because I know I've had some problems when I was trying to learn it too. So I just wanted to help anyone out there who's having a little bit of trouble with it. So now, hopefully now you, you can take something away from this video and it'll help you with your, with your converting or audio and video syncing. So that's it for now YouTube, we'll see you next time.